Yes! No! Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new kind of sub-series here on Big C TV. I wanted to take a moment and play some of my favorite games of all time just to kind of show them off because some people you know these are really old some people remember these fondly so i was inspired by this because i watched an episode of fun house on youtube that talked about the best racing games of all time and one of them uh adam shout out to adam from fun house uh he suggested burnout three takedown is the best racing game of all time and i tend to agree i love this game to death it is my favorite racing game of all time. I have not played it in a very, very long time, and I decided, you know what, let's dust off the good old Xbox 360, uh, which broke <laughs> me trying to get this to work. Uh, the, the actual button that opens the disc tray broke, and the disc tray was already in bad shape, so... Yeah, for that, but, uh... Yeah, Burnout 3. We're gonna play it. We're gonna stream it. Not stream it, we're gonna play it for you. I have not played this game in a long time, so it should be interesting to see Q-Dog. Do I not have a profile? I don't think I have a profile. Okay, well. So this profile is going to be of course. Big CTV. Because why wouldn't it be? Guess I would like to save my profile. Alright, so we're going to be playing some Burnout 3. Uh, do I want to do... Let's do the World Tour. Just for fun. Welcome to Crash FM with me, Stryker. If you're steaming off the I-5, welcome to Silver Lake! This is the home of pescado. This is the home of fish, silverfish apparently, and one big leg. Also, the hottest burnout action this side of the state. All right, so I gotta pick my my uh, vehicle. What's up, guys? You're listening to Striker on Crash FM. Just need a few minutes of your time to cover the rules of the burnout road. <laughs> To succeed in burnout, you need to be winning races, but you're not going to win races unless you take risks. The big reward? That's easy. You earn boost. Using boost gives your vehicle a speed boost. And you can use boost at any time to keep you in the heart of the action. Here's the lowdown. Risks can be taken anywhere in the burnout world. Take risks, you get reward. Get it? Yeah, I get it. Near misses with other cars. Driving on the wrong side of the road. Drifting around corners. Tailgating your rivals. Escaping crashes. And so it goes on. You can even string these together to get two or more happening at the same time. Okay, so earning boost is one thing, but to win, you need to steal it. Battle with your competitors by rubbing, slamming, Shunting and grinding with them. You'll get a quick boost fix and you can use it immediately to mix things up. If you want to take a bigger risk, try taking down your competition. Takedowns are when you wipe yeah. out one of your rivals, and if you do it, you'll grow your boost and fill it. But if you get taken down, your boost bar gets taken down too. Okay, something new is Crash After Touch. If and when you crash, activate impact time. When you are in impact time, you can steer your wreck. How cool is that? It's pretty cool, actually. Use crash after touch to gain after touch takedowns. Or to help you get to the places other crashers can't reach. 
That was a public service announcement brought to you by Crash FM. So if you're not familiar with the Burnout series, uh, it was created by Criterion Games. Essentially, the goal is it's a racing game, but it's a racing game where your goal is to smash and destroy everything. All right, you guys, check this out. I am Striker on Crash FM, and I just heard that... Hold on. Before I do anything, uh, let's turn the radio off because I don't want to get copyright struck, so... Fresh burners have piled up off the I-5. Yeah, this so game look doesn't look as good as it used to, action. that is for Anyone sure. When it came arise? out Come on, do it. Like Line it up in years ago, as we so that speak. For all your racing info, stay with Crash FM. Let's see if it controls as well as I hoped it would. Ooh, oh, that was bad. That was a bad start to this race. The other thing I like about Burnout is it controls really well, like it's... Yeah, it just, it just controls well. I might need to restart this race. Oh no, 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 no. I'm not... <laughs> see if I can catch up to this guy. Yeah, this is definitely one of those franchises that I really wish would come back. Like, they made Burnout Paradise in 2008. That was the last game in the series. And it's a good game, but it's not as good as 3. Honestly, it's not as good as Revenge, which is the game that came out after 3. And, like, the whole open world thing, it's cool and all, but I'd much rather have a set structure. This game is just perfect. Like, it's it's fun. It's... Oh, I crashed myself! Man, I... I suck. I'm doing really bad. Granted, again, I haven't played this game in... a very, very long time. Alright, let's see if we can smash this guy. Or, you know, I'll smash into a truck. You know what? I'm going to restart this race because I did really badly. Alright, here we go. Let's see what I can do. So you want to try to, like... Oh, I got a takedown! Sweet. Okay. So whenever you smash your enemies and pause them to last, Get a bunch of boosts. So I got first place now because I smashed that rival into the wall. So now I can boost ridiculously. So you trying to nudge me, huh? Trying to nudge me? Well, guess what? You're gonna get smashed. Oh! Speed. Well, I got two takedowns, and because that takedown involved me, I got a that. So there's two main modes that are like the real stars of this game. The racing is a lot of fun. The races go super fast and smash things. And then the other one is the crash mode, which I adore. The crash mode. The crash mode is superb. So, we'll see if we can do some crash mode in a bit. Just to kind of show off what this game has. I've got a few other, like, classic or more original games that I want to play. Um, also, I also found out, fun fact, that my favorite sports game of all time is playable on the 360. I didn't think it was, but it is, so I'm going to play it at some point. It's going to look real bad, <laughs> like this game does, but, you know. So, like, this game, I feel, would be perfect for, like, a remaster or a remake, because the gameplay holds up incredibly well. It just needs a visual upgrade. Like, it looks grainy, but this is an original Xbox game, so, like, it's... It definitely shows its age, and that's fine. It still plays well, like it's not, 
it's not unplayably bad because of oh it's not unplayably bad because of it, it doesn't look great by any stretch of imagination but it's not the worst thing in the world to be honest all right i'm doing pretty well i'm in, I'm in first i had to battle some guys to keep it I just, I just miss this type of game, like, so far, like, the last gen, or the current gen, I guess, technically, um, like, every game was just focused on, like, for racing games, anyway, like, open world, and customization, and realism, and, like, that's fine and all, but I miss the days where you could just have a, a stupid, fun arcade racer, and that's exactly what Burnout this is a stupid fun arcade racer. One of my favorite memories growing up was one time I went to this event in high school. Actually, it was in middle school. Um, and I brought my Xbox and a bunch of games. And like, there was one day we had there was like a dance going on, like a party. And I had just a whole bunch of people in my room. We were all playing Crash Mode at once. And it was just an absolute blast. Like, I loved every second of it. So, that's how good this game is. It's it's absolutely stunning. All right, got a bunch of points. Got three takedowns. Oh, Road Rage is fun. This is a mode where you basically have to, um... We'll do this car. We have to smash up, I guess. You have to speed along and smash as many, like, cars going in traffic as possible. It's pretty fun. I want to try to unlock some stuff, and then we'll do a, uh, we'll do a crash mode. Like, to show off what that looks like. Oh. I was not accelerating. Yeah, so as you see these cars ahead of me, I need to smash them. I just smashed myself, because I'm that good. Clearly. Spin City. Alright. That's the thing, like, unlike a lot of other racing games, like, your cars keep damage, like, they all the damage doesn't go away. So this is kind of like, a, it's a race, but your goal entirely is to get as many takedowns as possible. Ah, oh, someone got a takedown before me. There we go! Alright, got a takedown. And once you're going fast enough, you actually can like... Uh, oh, I smashed the back. You can use traffic as a weapon, like you get a car and launch it towards the guys you're trying to take down. It's pretty dope. Like I said, this game is freaking amazing. Like it's it's old. And I'm not good at it anymore apparently, but I used to be amazing in this game. Absolutely amazing. escape. Damn it! I keep crashing myself more than I crash other cars. I have one takedown. That is sad. Absolutely sad. Come on, I can What? Uh, I guess I'm not going to hide. I gotta have a boost. Yeah, there we go. Alright, I gotta take that. Finally. Let's see if I can shun that car. Yes! Alright. So then you can change. So now I'm going ridiculously fast. I got a silver medal. That's not that great. I wanna do it again. Hold on. I know I can get gold.
got three takedowns. I want to do that road rage again because I want to get gold. I know I can get gold. And then we'll do a crash mode just so I can try to show you how uh, crash mode is. Crash mode is the real thing that I really miss because no game has been able to do crash mode like Burnout. No game. Now I know I gotta hold the trigger. It's also really weird playing with my 360 again because, like, my 360 controller that I currently have, like, it's, it's beat up that hell. Man, they, these, all three of my... Oh, that one counted, because I slammed the step off. Yeah, two in a row. Thread the needle there. Alright, let's see if I can. I can shut some. Oh, did that count? Yeah, it did. Alright. Yeah, see, now. Look at, look at the damage. Okay, I got taken out. That's okay. I've got three already. Damn it. That was a take out. See if I can... Damn it, I... I mean, I smashed the rifle, but I didn't get up to crash. Yes! Pillar driver! That's the other cool thing, is you can get, like, signature takedowns. It's like you want your really encouraged to use your environment. Get takedown. It's pretty dope. So I gotta take a takedown there. Uh, let's see. Can I? I want to get more takedowns. I didn't get a takedown there. All right. Got critical damage. So I'm probably not gonna survive much longer. Let's see if I can get at least one more. I got a takedown. I think I'm out though. I got gold. I mean, I got five. I got five. It's not bad. And I got a new car. Awesome. And then I can use that new car in the crash room. What car did I get? Let's see. Oh, this is a faster car. Custom pop tags. Cool. And I locked the pillar driver. Smashing it into a pillar. Pretty dope. Alright, let's do some crash mode. I might play more of this later, but right now I just want to show off some stuff. Alright, we're gonna do crash mode. I think I only have one track unlocked. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna do trailer trash. I'll use my custom compact. Okay, okay, okay. Apart from burnout racing, you can also take part in the burnout crash championship. Here's everything you need to know, brought to you by me. I'm Striker, right here on Crash FM. Burnout is all about risk and reward. Well, here's the ultimate risk and the ultimate reward. Hammer your way into these busy traffic junctions and slam into as much traffic as possible. When it's all over, we'll figure out how much damage you've caused, how many vehicles you've tagged, and give you a damage total. All you have to do is beat our damage predictions and we'll let you on to the next junction. Oh, and to make things really interesting, we've placed some markers for you to hit with your wreck 
If you can tag them, we'll give you dollar increases or decreases. And for the ultimate reward, trigger the crash breaker for an explosive surprise. Hey, I did say it was risk and reward. First one to hit the totals gets to try some of the other rides we've brought along. Okay, something new is crash after touch. If and when you crash, activate impact time. When you are in impact time, you can steer your wreck. How cool is that? Use crash after touch to gain after touch takedowns or to help you get to the places other crashers can't reach. This is Striker covering Crash on a uh, Crash FM. <laughs> All right, we're going to do this. I don't think I ever unlocked the circuit racer. All right, so our goal is to get the biggest crash possible. So it's good to take a look at the track before you do it. So like there's a boost there. I definitely want to hit those um, trucks and stuff in the back. So let's see, I wanna hit power up. Ooh, I lost a boat. Okay, that wasn't ideal because I didn't have it to go over to the other side to get the uh, trailer I just caused a big wreck. Did okay. That wasn't bad. And of course, you can play all these rounds multiplayer, which is awesome. All right, let's try it again. I want to try to do a little bit better. I think I need a slower car. I think that was worse than my first one. I'm pretty sure it was. Let's try that again. Let's see if I can do it. Come on, baby. So I want to get the boost, because my goal is I want to boost over... I want to hit the traffic. That's not at all what I wanted to do. That was terrible. I got zero. Uh, let's retry that. This car might be too light, though. I think that's the problem I'm running into. Let's see if I can do it. Yes! No! Alright, so we're trying this again. I picked a different car. Hopefully it won't crash this time. Uh, crash. The game won't crash. Alright, I know how this works. So the goal is I want my car to fly over the tractor trailer and hit the ones in the back. That's the way to get the biggest score. So let's see if I can do it. The technique I was using is correct, but I think I, the car I picked was too light.
mean, I did a lot of damage. I didn't quite do what I wanted to, though. Yeah, that was pretty bad. So I'm gonna redo that. Yes! That's what I wanted! Look at all the damage! All the damage! Oh, yeah! I think that did it. I think that did it. Because I destroyed all those motorhomes. I got every bonus. That's exactly what you want. And then, if you want, you can watch the replay to see how well you did. So, here's how it all works. I did my jump. I hit the gold. Now, I missed this first car, which is a little bit of a shame. But... I got the job done. Then I blew up. Used the after touch to get the silver medal. You see that mobile home flying into the intersection. Ah. Uh, destruction. So there you go. That is a glimpse at Burnout 3 Takedown, which is one of my all time favorite games. Uh, let me know if you want to see more of my all-time favorite games and continue this series. I have a few others I want to show off that uh, people might not remember as much. Mostly from this era, but I got a few like games as well that I might show off. So, anyway, thank you for watching. This episode of Big C TV Plays. Hope you enjoyed it. New videos come out every day at noon Eastern Time. Hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, that way you know when new videos drop. And I will see you next time on Big C T V Plays. Bye bye. <laughs>